Hey guys, welcome back. Behind us we've got the double flip challenge. It's a monster of a house and we've faced some hurdles on the ground floor and I'm going to let the master contractor let you know exactly what's going on. What we want to focus on is what is actually going on down there. You call it most important, yeah it is important, but it's also hard work. You can see how much I need to dig. I need to dig 450 to be able to put hard cord four jumbo hardcore, four ton hardcore back, compact it to the compact machine, then I need to put 120 mil concrete, DPM, then I have to put a 100 mil king span insulation, and the floor heating and screed on top. That's why we dig so much there. You can see the, on the brickwork how much we dig. All this preparation is required to dig, take it out, order the skip, wait and load, because we cannot put the skip on the middle of the road. I'm trying to get rid of the big jobs, which uh, is the hard work, and uh, by end of next week to be able to conquer it and everything, this platform and the, and the other one to be concrete, yeah. Number one, uh, if by building control existing slab, it can remain, you don't care about it, you cannot keep existing slab for two reasons. Number one, the height was very small, only 2.3 meters. And number two, I need to do that, even if the building control was happy and uh, not required to be break the concrete, only the new area, which I build, which is there and there, uh, has to be insulated with an insulation 100 mil king span and on top to do my uh, underfloor heating system. So I uh, just said to myself, okay, let's break everything for two reasons to have more height, 2.4. Uh, and number two, all the slab is going to be you now with the insulation. And number three, the underfloor heating, which is going to be fit, is going to do a good job because have insulation everywhere. With a concrete slab, I cannot fit it just on top of the existing slab. This was very massive still, 254, 254 by 89 kg. Uh, very massive with a post there. This is called frame beam which this steel, which support most of the house, 90% of the house is supported by this L-shaped steel, with a crank beam there, it's sitting on that beam post and sitting on my steel, which has been concrete with a mesh concrete. To so buy steel, 800, 1,000 pounds a ton, no prefabrication, it's including all the manufacturing and the delivery, 2,200, 2,300 per ton. Going up? Yeah, and I think in January it's going up. Here what we have, the level of this one was somewhere here. We need to dig another 600 millimeter. This is the, the head height. So I dig around 500 millimeter. I need to do underpinning between the houses uh, to support the house. You can see all the section here has been done in section. Also here I done concrete, uh, massive concrete with a mesh reinforce. And then we are ready now for put the insulation, 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 clothes and delta membrane and uh, plasterboard it and plastering. It's a really difficult exercise and not only that, it's uh, take time because you cannot do it in one go. You need to do it section by section. So we have here by I think six time to do it in six section. So we done part one and part one there, then part two and part two, part three and part three, part four and part six has been done individually. We're gonna have nice, nice utility, some other storage. It's gonna be good space, to be honest. It's gonna be like nice utility washing machine. Think? Yeah, here, how's you know, from the drawing, we're gonna have a clock room in there. The stairs is coming here. So how you can see here is really nice design, to be honest. Yeah, it's required a lot of steel. You can see the steel wall support, otherwise you cannot build. So it, it, because you step it back, step it back as a section, steel support was in here. It was too much steel in that property, to be honest. Another section of steel to support this section and another section of steel to support the other section and plus the steel on the loft. So that house, <laughs> It was uh, quite a lot still. Same exercise I have to do here. I have to break this one, three people to dig every day, and then take it out from outside and need to put a weight and load skip and disappear. And uh, for each house is required like around four number, five number of skip. So we done already two, the third one is coming and same is gonna be in here. But as soon as we finish with this big job, I call it big job, where, okay, then we can fly with other things. As you can see, I put all the insulation here. Electrician need to do the electric, then we can board it up quickly, start plastering, and we can fly much easier than structural work. So the glass is order, I think is gonna be arrive more or less middle of next week, all the glass. This one, we need to uh, have a meeting with the guy, took the measurements and it's gonna be in order. Uh, he said to me, I may have it before Christmas. Uh, normally it's 
between six to eight weeks or six to ten weeks, but he will do it very quickly for me. Yeah, this one, it's designed by the structural engineer with a big pad concrete underneath and it's a part of the structure. How you can see this house is required a lot of steel work. It's just because it's a cantilever steel. You can see that corner, it's empty and that's why it's required extra support, not only the brickwork. To sit on the brickwork, it's a, another beam support here, which is sitting with a big pad foundation here. So now, because we have the layout, it's easy to take out the measurement, which I done already with a, uh, one good guy who's going to help me. We copy the same, it's more or less is the same. Everything is done here. It's just we protect with the Corex all the engineering flooring. As you can see, uh, second fixing lights need to be fit there, handles there, clean the side fit the radiator into the wall, in the wall, close the door, job done. Series completely done. Uh, we've been waiting for some tiles, which is take about seven days, 10 days to arrive. So we got all the tiles now, so which that's gonna be complete. How did you get this floor to actually meet the wood floor with the tiles? Well, we need to calculate everything, uh, have in mind what is gonna happen, what, how many millimeter you build on the, on the bedroom, how many millimeter you build on the, on the bathroom floor, then we do it on the such a way the calculation to junction connection. Not many contractors will do that. Uh, yes, I know, I know. Almost done. This window is going to be arrived on the 13th of December. Uh, it's one day installation. Here it's all done. Just to take out the Corex engineering flooring is fit underneath already. Radiator done. All the painting, second coat done. That's so one light and that's it. So obviously the window is going to arrive end of next week. This one was big process in times of time, yeah, because it was the many such window. In total, I think was 26 number, including the bathrooms one. So it's a lot of window. It's coming next week. We're gonna start fitting next week. That gives you the feeling of wow. You are not very close, claustrophobic. It's very nice to have this one when you have opportunity to have this one, yeah. Because the way we are working, we cannot wait until everything is plastering, then to bring a team of painters, because then it will, we, we, we lost time. And the quality, obviously, him is the one who do the preparation, then put the lights on the wall. If you see something, notice something which is not right, send the, the wall properly, do the primer again and the quality we're working, it's, you cannot see it everywhere, at least take time. It is similar to the Russians, the yeah. house that we did. Yes, yes. And uh, it's a high-end finish, and the painting is so important. It's something which take time. If you want to deliver something very professional, very good, high level, everywhere here, South Kensington, High Street Kensington, uh, Knies Bridge, so we have to do that. Uh, on the house is like this. Here, how you can see, uh, we have to put these tiles. The reason I don't fit these tiles is because I wait for the window to be fit first. As soon as I fit the new window, then I do the tiles. Because if you take the window out, it is a chance of breaking the tiles, which is very close to the window. And we don't need that. Uh, then here, how you can see, is going to be very nice, big base and double base for 1.4 meter uh, wall light. Nice uh, mixer, which we bought it from Crosswater Company, which is a very good high quality. Same in there, it's gonna be glass screen here. Go from there in the shower. Oh, oh this is amazing. This is really nice. Everyone is dreaming to have something like that. <laughs> yeah. Not that one. Price? Uh, definitely. You think they, they 100%. Hopefully you found that informative, picked up some great tips from Danny. Goodbye to everyone and uh, we do our best to deliver the high level on uh, our projects. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you.